Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, my name is Jaja. Make sure you check out my socials, my Instagram, my Twitter and my Snapchat at Jacksday. I'll put it up on the screen. Make sure you check those out because when I'm not on the YT, I'm on my socials and I always let you know when I've uploaded a new video. Also give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Yeah. I'm just a bad bitch who happens to have good girl habits. I'm not trying to be a savage, but the hood's baddest. I was struggling, hustling as a kid. I was troubling. Okay, so we're in lockdown again. And what I wanted to do today, I just wanted to catch up. Let's just talk and get ready to go to the rest of the house, you know, from my bedroom to the living room, to the kitchen, that's, that's, that's all we're gonna do. So put my hair up, out of the way, kind of. I don't know what I wanna do with it yet, so I've just put it up till I decide. Um, but I have done my brows, so let's jump in. I haven't done it primer, I've done skin prep, that kind of thing. Let me prime my face, first of all. I am using the Fenty Beauty True Matte Primer, so just, two pumps or so of that anyway how are you guys doing how do you guys feel about another lockdown in the uk i mean i'm well over it I'm not gonna lie to you I'm well over it i'm having an issue basically i um my wisdom teeth are giving me problems like the pain is ridiculous and a couple of weeks ago, one morning, I think it was Christmas Eve, but around that time, I woke up and my face was so swollen, like, I looked like a chipmunk, like, just because my teeth were giving me so much problems, it was like, um, I felt a lot of pain from all of them, but I mean, my bottom right, this one right here, mm -mm was giving me so much problem. I couldn't even close my mouth properly. Like I could just about get there, but it was just so sore. And I was just, oh, it was unbelievable. But anyway, obviously with the pandemic, there's not a lot I can do. I have, I did manage to get like emergency, an emergency appointment at the dentist. So they've had a look at my tooth. They've had it x-rayed, but my mouth is my mouth is so small I, they couldn't fit that like x-ray plaque film thingy in my mouth um so they couldn't get a proper x-ray they could only see part of my tooth but what they could see was that my wisdom tooth is growing that way rather than that you know the rest of your teeth grow up my wisdom tooth is growing like this but it's kind of going to the side like it's going into my into my cheek every time i close my mouth legit i'm sitting here talking to you i can feel my tooth in my cheek it feels like i'm chewing my cheek basically um let's go into foundation i really want to use a different foundation but i don't this is my baby right now two face born this way matte in mocha so i want to give me real problems it's so jarring oh uh, like obviously the swelling has gone down now i don't look like a chipmunk i just feel uncomfortable like um, I can't eat everything that I want to eat and then I can't always eat on this side and it gets annoying eating on one side because that side gets tired. Oh, if they then told me tomorrow, oh, come tomorrow to get them taken, I'll be like, yes, take take them all away. Because not only that one, is my wisdom people are not fully exposed and they're just still coming through and I'm like, I'm over this. This has been going on for so long. My wis I first met in my wisdom teeth coming through when I was like 18. So, I mean, how long is that now? It's like six years of just being irritated by these teeth every every few months and it's like as much as I say oh I'm in I'm in pain my dentist like oh you'll be all right you'll be all right no they don't fit in my mouth take them out so that's what I really want to happen I want my wisdom teeth to come out I want the dentist to listen to me um what else has been happening so I've been spending a lot of time um, with Ugly Head, working on different ventures. Guys, you need to check out Ugly Head clothing. So, the stuff is now up on the website. I will put it in the description bar. But Ugly Head has dropped their own stuff now. And the studio 
is still there so if anyone needs a studio space a photography space or you know maybe you're an artist you need a recording space if you're in northwest london check it out put the website in the description bar and i will put the instagram in the description bar like honestly the space is amazing to use my first like pop-up shop obviously we have to I don't know if I can say that because obviously coronavirus. Anyway, merch is up on the website. Also check out Cartoon. This is um another brand that you know I'm working with. Also up, and I just love it. I feel like this is I don't know. I just do. I just like it. Check it out. Let me finish my foundation. Woo! I am I'm wondering what you'd like to see on my channel. I am thinking about, you know, like different series I could do, not just like new products, maybe more reviews, because I feel like the reviews I have done so far on my channel people have really enjoyed. Um and I still I'm still getting a lot of views, or even that, I think that's my highest, the most amount of views I've got on my channel, which is the um, Ill Maquillage Foundation Review. Honestly guys, I, I'm scared to go and get another one, I'm scared to try a different shade. I'm like, I just don't know if I can, I don't know if I can do that. I'm going to do another video just on Ill Maquillage Customer Service. I so I've got some things to say. I also want to do something fun. Other videos where you guys can see more of my personality. It's just sometimes it's so hard knowing how much of yourself to put out there. It's one thing to sit down and, you know, just talk about makeup or different brands that you like. It's another thing to put more of yourself out there when I feel like when you do put yourself out there, people have a lot to say. And for the most part, I am a pretty private person, so... I don't know, but let me know what you want to see on my channel. I didn't go too ham with the foundation, obviously. I'm inside, like, I'm not going anywhere, so what's the point? Um, concealer, concealer. Do you know what I have, what I want to try, actually? I haven't done it for ages, is contouring. I haven't contoured for ages, but I'm going to try. I'm going to contour with the... Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer from Makeup Revolution. This is in the colour C14.5. And then I'm going to highlight with my other concealers. This is the Born This Way Warm Beige and the Born This Way Butterscotch. Obviously, Warm Beige is too light, so I mix it with Butterscotch. And then now the makeup revolution. I've forgotten how to do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and blend that out. I'm gonna use a sponge. This is the real techniques. Miracle sponge, if I remember correctly. I love it. My favourite, favourite sponge ever. It is damp. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying before I started to go into concealer. Um, I wondered if you guys have any goals for lockdown. Like, what do you want to have achieved this time round when we are released from lockdown? Because I feel like I can get quite a lot done. Um, I feel like I get a lot more of my own stuff done when I'm not, you know, working my nine to five because obviously that's a big chunk of time during the day where you can be doing so much for yourself, doing stuff, you know, that you really want to do and you really want to spend time on. So I wondered if anyone had any goals for the lockdown. Mine is, um, I just want to stay on top of content give you different kinds of content so please do write in the comments what you want to see um or if, you, if i've done any videos you've liked and you want to see more of that kind of video then let me know um i definitely want to increase my subscribers i think that's a fair 
thing. I feel like the la the first lockdown we had, I was just bringing out content, 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 and I feel like that's when um, people like were you guys were subscribing to me. I had like lots of new subscribers in that time. Right, let me blend this contour out. It's been a minute since I've done this, so this might turn out really bad. Let's see. I just seem to be like bronzing more than contouring, if that makes sense. Like, and I'll be pushing it up. Let me blend it out. I'll tell you something that I haven't done for ages contour my nose, so why don't we try and do that today? I don't know if the contour's even doing anything. Anyway, let's see. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I feel like I'm just throwing lines everywhere, but let's see. Let's see if we can change up the routine a little bit. Bring that down in my nose. Oh, maybe that's another video I could do. All my like favorite bronzers, because I feel like I've got a decent collection now. But there are a couple of bronzers I still would like to try. But I mean, I feel like is there really need for me to have any more stuff? I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder in Honey. Honestly, it's the best. One of the best things to come out of twenty twenty. So yeah, let me just put this on my face. This sponge let me down. I'm using a new sponge. I want to say this is like a beauty based sponge, but I honestly I can't remember. I've had it for a while and just never used it. I want to say it's a beauty based sponge, but it just didn't. It hasn't put on the powder the way I'd want it to. Hmm. We'll just go with it <laughs> for now, but I won't use that sponge again for powder. I'm going to go over these areas that I've just put powder on my face with that terrible sponge. Let me use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in 3. I'm going to use this powder and see if I can save my powder and like my starting to crease on my eyelids. So let me just blend that out again. Just press that in. That looks better. Okay. I'm just putting the Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury powder everywhere. I've just put that little Mercier powder. I feel like it's patchy. And it hasn't set what how I'd like it to normally set. So we're gonna look a little bit brighter today than usual. But you know, as I said, I'm just going to the living room. But I am going to go over what I've contoured. I don't think it's a contour contour. I just think it just added a little bit of a warmth to my face. But I'm going to go over it with powder. I'm going to use a bronze. Let me use a bronze. I haven't used it for a while. Um, this is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. I know there was the whole hype over it last year. The colour that I bought originally in this particular bronzer was dark or medium dark. I want to say dark because I feel like medium dark is more of a contour shade. But dark, this dark bronzer looks like, when I put it on my face, it looks like someone punched me in my face. It just looks like I have a bruise. <laughs> so um, I did recently go back and buy the same bronzer but in medium. Which I think is so much better for, for me. It's more... I feel like you can still see it. I still have to work it in a little bit. Um, but for my skin tone, I feel... And I feel like I'm just happier with a more subtle look. If that makes sense. So I do just have to take my time. I'm kind of going over the same area that I've put like that. Me trying to contour. Or, yeah, basically where I put the cream contour just to err uh, because you know I have cheeks that's not like I have cheeks but let's just make them look a little bit 
smaller, smaller. Yeah, I think my cheeks are cute anyway. Besides, I'm using the Beauty Bay Bake Off Angled Brush. Love this brush. I think I'm going to go back and get some more Beauty Bay brushes because I really like how this one feels. And I have a couple of their like eyeshadow brushes. Lovely. So I definitely will go back. Mm. How are we looking? I need to tidy as I go, so hold on. Let me put this stuff away so far. Right. Tidy, tidy. What did I just do? I just did bronzer. Okay, blush. Blush is next. I know in my last video you guys saw me unpack the Fenty Holiday Trio set. So this here is the Fenty Glow Cheeks Out Cream Blush. Why is it upside down here? Sorry. I have tried this since my last video and I don't like it. I feel like it takes from once I've set my face, it takes away, it starts to take away product. Maybe I'm putting it on wrong. I've tried with my fingers. Let's try again today. So I've tried. I feel like I'm just putting it on wrong. Maybe someone can help me. But I am... Um, I'm just not feeling it. Maybe what I'm going to try, I'm going to try and use this um, on like a no makeup day. So when I am going out, you know, I'm just doing errands, just doing full skin kind of vibe. I might just put a little bit of that on. But I don't like putting it on. <sighs> just give me a second to get used to it. I'm just not feeling it. But... I'm still trying the Fenty Skin product, so I will be doing a separate video of my thoughts on that. So I don't want to spill too much now, but it is in the works, okay? For blush, I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Beauty Bay Beauty Bay blush in coral. I think I got this on one of my last like a haul a while back. Um, I just like. I like an orange cool blush. I don't like, you know, bright pink cheeks. But I definitely think orange and like coral colours agree with me. I do like to go across my nose as well. I don't know why. I just think I'm hitting up that side, centre, then that side. No? <sighs> so I'm going to go in with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I'm getting through this so quick. I love it. Love it. Woo! As I said, we're only going to the living room, so I'm not even going to put lashes on. I'm just going to put some mascara on, and I'm going to use an old school goodie. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I mean, did we all start out with this? I'm sure we did. I'm sure we all started out with this mascara. So we just cook that on. I always kind of the craziest when I'm putting mascara on. Can you? Right. Okay, so I've put a little bit of mascara on. Lips, 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 lips. I always hate this. I always get like a foundation top lip when I'm doing my makeup. Who else gets that? Or is it just me? Am I just like messy? Right, my lip. What am I going to do? I'm going to line my lips first with Maybelline Colour Sensational Lip Liner. This is in Copper Brown or 775. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm so late and to all my friends and my family who didn't tell me, I binge watched Scandal. I know I'm so late. I had never watched it before. I like dipped my toe in with how to get away with murder. I did like that though, what I saw of it. I feel like I should go back and finish it. But I binged watched Scandal over the festive season. Yo, I was so late and no one told me. No one told me what I was missing. But that's what I've been doing. Sorry, let me finish this. Mm -mm. No one told me that I was missing out. This is something new. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Lip Gloss. Lip. Gloss Bomb. 
but in the cream version. This is in Venti Glow. Ooh. I did like that. Yeah, you guys should have told me like how good Scandal was. I had no idea. Mm, do I want to do anything else? No, I want to take off this band. And I honestly cannot be bothered to do anything with my hair. I'm just going to leave it like this. Like, messy bun. Maybe I'd bun it. Yeah, maybe let me bun it and see what happens. I don't know if I like that bun. Yeah, let's just keep it like this. I want to thank you guys for checking in with me and getting ready with me, you know, to go to the rest of the house. I hope you guys are keeping safe and doing the best you can to stay sane as well. Guys, please don't forget to click the subscribe button, check out my socials, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.